Welcome back to Running Shoes Guru. My name's Brandon, and today I'm reviewing the Nike Vomero 16. The Vomero was traditionally a max cushion trainer with a premium feel and a luxurious ride. However, the Vomero of today has been completely transformed. It's no longer supposed to be the max cushion trainer in the Nike lineup, but it's supposed to be a more versatile, more premium upgrade of the Nike Pegasus. The Vomero 16 is only a minor update. It has the same outsole and midsole as the Vomero 15, but it has a brand new upper. The upper looks very similar to its predecessor and you need to examine it really closely to notice any differences. The Vomero 16 weighs 0.7 ounces or 20 grams more than the Vomero 15 and it's also received a price increase of 10 US dollars. The first time I put the Vomero 16 on, I immediately took a liking to the new upper. It just felt more comfortable and plusher because of the new thicker tongue. My first run was an interval workout. I found it really easy to pick up the pace and I enjoyed how snappy it felt. Tempo paces below 5 minutes per kilometer were easy to hold despite how heavy the Vomero 16 feels in hand. The upper felt much more comfortable than the Vomero 15's upper and the overall experience was much better than its predecessor, even though the updates are minimal. Just like the Pegasus 38, the Vomero 16 retains the same midsole and outsole as last year. But unlike the Pegasus, the Vomero's midsole doesn't feel outdated. And that's thanks to its Zoom X core, which provides significantly more energy return than the React Foam in the Pegasus. And as a result of the Zoom X, the Vomero feels much better on faster paced runs than the Pegasus. I enjoyed the Vomero 16 most on steady runs, slightly faster than easy pace. The large, thick 4 foot Zoom Air unit provides a springy pop during toe offs, and it makes you want to run fast. One thing to take note of is that the Vomero doesn't have a soft ride. The pressurized Zoom Air unit in the forefoot feels harsh on distances longer than 25 kilometers, so I wouldn't recommend the Vomero 16 for long runs. The Vomero 16 has one of the most durable outsoles I've ever come across. Not only is the rubber extremely tough and hard wearing, but it's thick and there's plenty of it with no exposed midsole foam. Nike calls this in-house developed rubber OG RS002 high abrasion rubber. And while durability is excellent, traction is slippery on wet surfaces because of how hard the rubber is. The biggest and most important update to the Vomero 16's upper is its tongue. It's no longer a thin, flat racing inspired tongue but it's now a generously padded thick one. And it's attached to an inner sleeve, so there's no tongue slide. However, the thicker tongue does make the Vomero 16 run warmer than its predecessor, so it's more suited to cooler climates. The other big change on the upper is on the midfoot. And thin midfoot straps are no longer used. Instead, panels are used to provide midfoot lockdown. And this distributes pressure more evenly and makes the upper even more comfortable. When it comes to fit, the Vomero 15 was a half size too large and I had to size down. But with the 16, because of the thicker tongue, my entire foot was pushed backwards and the forefoot was less roomy. So the 16 fits true to size. I enjoyed the Vomero 16 more than the Vomero 15 because its updated plusher upper is much more comfortable. The Vomero 16 is the shoe that you pick up if you want one of the most durable trainers on the market that can handle a variety of paces. It's not a light shoe, but it's built like a tank and it feels luxurious on foot. 
At 150 US dollars, the Vomero 16 is an expensive shoe and $30 more than the Pegasus 38. If you have the cash though, you should get the Vomero 16 because it's more durable, more comfortable, and much more versatile than the Pegasus. Outside of Nike, there are far better options than the Vomero 16, which are cheaper, lighter, and more versatile. Shoes like the Nova Blast 2, the Mark IV, and the Rebel V2 are much more fun and more engaging than the Vomero 16, and they can also do long distances much better. However, where the Vomero 16 beats them all is outsole durability. If you've run in any of the previous Vomeros, please share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the review and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.